Greetings to all from Narayana Health Mysore. My name is Dr. N.S. Rajendra. I'm a senior interventional cardiologist at this institute and I've been here for the last five years. Majority of my training was in the UK and uh, I came here with the dream of providing uh, super specialty care to our people. And in fact, it's been very satisfying. Uh, and I have been asked to talk a few lines about the heart cardiac care. So essentially, heart diseases are the major killers in our uh, country. In fact, it has way beyond progressed uh, from other diseases like cancer, or even road traffic accidents. So we have to tackle this burden of disease, which is an extremely important thing to do. Majority of the heart problems fall into two categories. One is heart attack, the other one is heart failure. So, it is important to distinguish between the two. Uh, heart failure is a condition wherein the heart pump does not work, whether it is the failure of the pump or of the uh, to contract or whether it's the failure of the pump to relax. So there are two types of heart failures. Both in fact have now been recognized to be very much contributing to the morbidity and mortality of our population. The other condition of, of course is heart attacks. A lot of people die from heart attacks. It is certainly a preventable and indeed a treatable condition if medical attention is sought early enough. So we have seen that patients are coming in at a younger age having heart attacks. Of course, this determines how long they live. What is the uh, problem that the patient's family will face? And of course, if it is a young person who is a breadwinner for the family, it is not just the person that suffers, it is also the family. So prevention is better than cure at any time. So what we suggest is we should look into our risk factors predominantly. We are now becoming more and more sedentary. We are not working out enough. We are not having enough exercise. And also we are ignoring what our forefathers have said about good diet. So it is important to stick to a healthy diet, get regular exercise, and in especially after the age of 40, it is important to look at what risk factors we have and how in fact we can reduce them so that the person does not end up with a heart attack or a stroke. So what we would suggest is, uh, apart from having regular exercise and not leading a sedentary life, uh, sticking to a good diet, ensure that you don't smoke, reduce your alcohol to within the normal limits that is prescribed, uh, make sure that you see a doctor regularly, ensure that if you have high blood pressure or diabetes that is looked into and treated to guidelines uh, mandated and also essentially look at your cholesterol levels. There have been new guidelines looking at the cholesterol levels coming down to a level of 55 milligram per deciliter, which a few years ago was up to 100 milligrams per deciliter. And this I'm talking about the very high risk group. So it is important to adopt a prevention is better than cure strategy. And if, apart from all this, a patient has a heart attack, people need to know what the symptoms are. So the symptoms pretty much are very severe chest pain radiating to the back or to the left shoulder, a very cold sweat. In fact, even if it is very hot outside, the patient is sweating. It's a constrictive pain that really seems to squeeze the chest. And this is a heart attack pain. It may be associated with breathlessness. It can also be associated with lightheadedness or in fact, a patient suffering from a bout of unconsciousness. If this is the condition, patient needs to get to a medical center very, very quickly. In fact, in Mysore, there are a lot of centers that provide 24 seven uh, primary angioplasty. Primary angioplasty, which is a treatment of choice, which has been proven beyond doubt that opening the blood vessel, which is causing the heart attack, sooner the better. Uh, of course, we have rolled out this program here for the last five years. Uh, and it has been very successful and I'm very satisfied that it has saved a lot of patients' lives. So essentially what do we do? A patient come in with a massive heart attack. We 
counsel the patient family of course we do some basic investigations and time is of essence here the time from when the patient comes in through the door of the emergency room to when the patient gets into the cath lab and has his blood vessel opened by either putting a stent balloon or in fact a device to suck the blood clot out is called the door to balloon or the door to device time we have in fact audited our uh, procedure process times here and it has been extremely gratif gratifying to note that our door to device time is in less than uh, 60 minutes uh, and this is of extreme importance in terms of outcomes to the patient so primary angioplasty is wherein the blood vessel is opened and this impacts on the longevity the survival of the patient how long the patient survives and once the patient has survived this heart attack it is also important to undergo a rehabilitation process and look at how the patient gets integrated back into the mainstream so that they can be uh, productive lead a life which is not again uh, limited by either repeat admissions or recurrent events as you know heart attack leads to heart failure so it is important to prevent heart attacks treat heart attacks if and when they occur and also this way we can prevent heart failures there are other causes of heart failure also high blood pressure being one of them so it is essential that patients or people with high blood pressure get regular checkups and uh, undergo treatment as and when required finally i would like to end by uh, stating what Lord Sri Krishna has said in Bhagavad Gita, he has said that Sarvasya chaham hridi sannivishtaha matta smriti gnanam aham apohanam cha vedascha sarvai ahameva vedyaha vedantakrit vedavideva chaham. So he is essentially saying that he lives in everybody's heart. So it is very important to look after your heart because this essentially is what you can do service to the Lord himself by looking after your own heart. So my best wishes to everybody uh, on this occasion of World Heart Day and take care of yourselves. Thank you.